the FGT light and the Moza are not compatible and the Moza wheel with the PS5 is not compatible. Tomorrow is the big day. I get my new my new racing setup uh, almost entirely. I've got one more thing coming on Friday. I am super, super excited. I've been racing with the G29 that I've had there for about two or three years. To be honest, it's just time for something better. I've enjoyed VR racing so much. At Gran Turismo 7, it is like the most well-rounded experience I've ever had. And I've been working for this type of thing for a very long time. So this is gonna be my unboxing of literally everything and the entire video of all of it. This is something that I've worked really, really hard for. And I, I'm super excited. It's gonna be fun. Enjoy the rest of the videos. Okay, so here's the current setup of things. With the G29 PSVR2, our Oculus Rift is over there. Okay, I decided to skip cable managing for today. I'm too excited. So as you can tell, I got super excited while I was opening and setting all this up. I just kind of forgot to talk. So here we go. This is my first experience ever with a detachable wheel um, and a direct drive wheelbase. So I was very much amused just by the whole process and the experience of this Moza wheel was absolutely insane. It is definitely something very different if you're used to uh, one of the current belt driven or gear driven solutions. Uh, and I got the pedals right here too. And I actually have, please worry about the pedals coming up, but for now, let's get into this little bit that I okay, did talk so about. so this thing is freaking like, this is like exactly the size that I was kind of envisioning it would be. It's a little bit, it's nearly the same size as the, G, uh, the G29, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. I'm gonna get all this set up on my desk and everything and I'll come back when it's ready to go. And back again we are so finally I got the I got the wheel put together I got uh, I kind of got the bracket put together for that too but then my this is Friday now so my my other package just came the one that I was talking about so the pedals if you notice the pedals were just a, a brake and a gas and I ideally uh, was planning on, on having the clutch um, however and you'll see that in this video too the clutch that I ordered was actually the wrong clutch for the more advanced pedal set. Um, I I did not catch that. I, I was part of like an Amazon bundle deal actually. So I ended up messaging the company and letting them know like, hey, your bundle on Amazon says this pedal, this pedal is, you know, the correct one for this kit. So I ended up catching that and I, um, my, my new one should be arriving sometime in the next couple days. Um, I plan on having it as part of this video, but I have to do a whole return process for the original one that I got, so it's just kind of a crazy mess. But setting up the FGT light, it was kind of rough, honestly, because I was a little bit stupid. I didn't follow the instructions properly. So you'll see me here. Uh, this this is about two hours of video sped up and trimmed down uh, as much as I could to avoid any sort of rambling about anything. But the this part right here, where I'm putting this piece in and I look like I'm trying to stretch it to fit, I was actually putting the left side in the wrong slot. I was putting the left side where the table tray extension goes for like a shifter that you can put on that side instead of putting it in the closer slot to me, which would have made it line up just fine with the latch part on the other side. So I sat there for a good like literally like 45 to an hour just trying to get this to fit and, and I, I couldn't and I was like, okay, you know what? I just need to start cleaning up a little bit and take a break. Finally got back to it and you can see here. So I'm loosening and readjusting the tension because I'm like maybe I got the tension wrong but no I just uh, eventually I found out what I did wrong and it was stupid craziest mistake it took so long and that's why I'm sitting there kind of exhausted so then here we are this brings us to the full setup so I finally have the wheel and the pedals mounted to the cockpit now the now here's a big big disclaimer if you decide to go with this route these pedals are not the whole wheel and pedals are not supported with this with this cockpit in this chair I, I was just ignorant and just was excited to be buying stuff. So I, so I didn't check that part out. However, it obviously does work just so you're aware it works flawlessly too, if you follow these steps. So what I did, the table mount that is used for the, for the wheel is just what I attached to the base plate there. And that works just fine. The 
pedals on the other hand they the screws you do not have the right screws you'll have to buy new screws if you want or as part of this upgrade anyways i was already getting a cable management kit and that came with a bunch of zip ties so literally i have about 25 zip ties holding on my pedals and they are sturdy they are very very sturdy so so that works kind of a thrown together solution but it it's a solid solution and the other thing too is if the zip ties break i can just put more on kind of glad i use zip ties because it's not like it's wear and tear on the on the metal or it's rubbing against anything that it shouldn't be so that's that's pretty good and now we're getting into my first vr experience with a direct drive wheel i did have uh sort of a commentary recorded with this at the same time but the audio is kind of weird because i think the vr thing messed it up but either way i've got some really good feedback for that my obvious first choice was to take an amg around the nurburgring and see how we do so this is the gt3 um and honestly i've the reason i chose this car is because even with the logitech g29 this car feels like it has some of the most smooth and just clean steering overall you're directly connected to the wheels the wheels are connected to the road you're not lifting you're not you know, you're not missing any detail at all even with a a lower force feedback wheel that's not a direct drive it feels amazing i love this car so i chose this car because i knew that immediately my experience would be enhanced with uh, with this wheel and the force feedback of it and it absolutely was the setup process for getting the moza to work with the ps5 was very easy i actually am going to go ahead and do a tutorial at the uh, near the end of this video on how to set this up and how to how to pretty much get this exact experience if it's what you're looking for quick disclaimer i just want to let you know that currently the the resolution 2 and the moza r5 are not working with my playstation 5 um i'm not currently sure why I do have a support ticket in with uh, Brooke, the company that makes the resolution too. Once I get updated on that and figure out what's going on, I will release a video on a tutorial about how to do this setup. At the moment though, it is currently not working. Yeah, I was in a very particular position where I knew I wanted to upgrade my racing sim, but I also knew that I had like three total options maybe to work for that. I had to either go with Fanatec GTDD Pro or just the, G the Gran Turismo bundle in general that works with PC. PS5, or I could do the Logitech Direct Drive, which was a thousand dollars and does work with PC and PS5. One of the Thrustmaster ones I think also worked where it would have worked just fine. That one was not Direct Drive, and I wanted to upgrade to Direct Drive. So the route that I chose was absolutely the harder route and the most budget friendly as well, too. I didn't want to blow all of my budget on just the wheel. I wanted to get the cockpit, I wanted to get the accessories for the pedals. So the clutch pedal that I ordered was actually the wrong clutch pedal for that kit. They all arrived, started putting everything together, and I realized like, wow, okay, this pedal looks very different. These pedals that come with the R5 bundle are the SPR Lite. You can upgrade the whole pedal kit to the CSP pedals, and that'll work fine with the R5. You have to do all the pedals. You can't just do just one pedal with that. So I, I bought the wrong pedal for it. So I have, you know, three pedals put on there, but the new pedal is on its way, and I'm going to get a refund for the current one that I have and send that back. I also have the brake mod coming for the for the brake because at the moment both pedals are very linear and very much exactly the same pedal wildly better than the than the g29 i've not tried any other racing setups or any other wheels from anybody anywhere the only setup i've ever had has been the logitech g29 two times i do have quite a good amount of playtime already within this rig and you can see how just how much i'm, I'm kind of taking it in here on this first you know nurburgring lap i'm just kind of one the psvr experience is absolutely insane it is my favorite thing to do overall doing that with the logitech wheel mounted to my desk still has an insane experience another thing too is the logitech is absolutely the best thing for your buck like go for that if you don't know if this is something that you like or something that you want to try to do that is absolutely the best route to go because it is not only cheap if you buy secondhand too but it is also just a really well-rounded experience it's very easy like quick setup plug and play you're good to go he works with ps5 and you even have more options too for like xbox stuff with true force and all that too so you have really good options and yes i did intentionally crash there because i was curious what the force feedback would do on the wall genuine difference between the logitech and this is just like i said the direct feeling to the car this feels like i'm in a vehicle that has it's got the wheel connected to the wheels that are on the ground you can feel every little detail gran turismo especially amplifies that because right now what i'm running through is the uh the resolution 2 and that is pretty much a device that connects to the front of your playstation and you connect the wheel to that that allows you to use the moza wheel with the playstation 5 because and this is another disclaimer that's going to go in the very beginning of the video too the fgt light and the moza 
are not compatible and the moza wheel with the ps5 is not compatible out of the box none of it is compatible with each other why i bought it is because i'm stupid fix for the for both of those one is zip ties the other one is probably zip ties too resolution 2 is just it's a device that is used to open up the compatibility of these moza products now i know that they are working on a moza r3 which is compatible with xbox which will be their first xbox compatible or console compatible wheel i'm hoping that they don't send out a patch or an update that currently stops the r5 from working with the resolution 2 that's whenever we'll, we'll lose money and we'll have we'll have conflict there so i just want to interject here and say that the way that this kit was sold to me was um it was in this like this type of listing right here so you see how it's got the wheel the brake and next to it it had the uh the srp clutch pedal not the srp light which is the difference i had ordered all that and set it all up um and just to find out that it wasn't working. When you're going through these listings, especially if you're on Amazon or anywhere else, make sure you look so you can see the difference of the, the clutch pedal there. That's the SRP light. That's what I thought I was getting. What I ended up getting was the, uh, the regular SRP, which works with the other SRP pedals. Make sure you're very aware of what you're ordering. And if you see it in a bundle like this, just double check yourself, make sure everything looks good. Cause I just had to go through a whole return process just to get that returned. I have the new pedal shipping to me now too, which is, but now it's delaying the whole process and I didn't want to delay this video any further. So the PSVR two, however, very, very thankfully PSVR two is actually getting PC support coming sometime next month, I think. So that is like, that's very, that changes the way that all of this works for me. And I am then allowed to use the PSVR two which is not only like the best headset that I have, but it's also going to be the, the only like really efficient headset I have that I can use for all VR racing on the PS5 or in a set of Corsa or, or an F124 or anything like that. Like it's going to be actually insane. So, and I'm in a Porsche GT3 and this is, so this is the Get Skinny server and uh, this is a paid server. Um, it's a Patreon kind of thing though. And it's only like seven bucks a month. So it is 100% worth it. This is... As I said, this is the most fun I've had in a very long time on this, so I'm definitely going to have some cut-up videos coming through. Um, probably going to be live streaming it. At the moment, I am at a very big disadvantage. Oh my god, are you serious, dude? He rear-ended me. That's crazy. So I'm at a... Oh, I'm catching up to him, dude. No way. Not let him get away with that. Alright, that's going to be all for me. I got to get to bed. This is awesome. I'm going to absolutely love doing this once I get my wheel settings more accurate and get that clutch pedal put in. And by the way, during the making of this entire video, I did get a brand new camera. So this is what the new one looks like. And this is what the old one looks like. So if you're curious, I'll put the, the link down in the description for what camera this is. It's super cheap. It's the Logitech Brio 300. Um, and then I have like a super old webcam that I've had for like eight years that I did a video on. Like you can actually see me and it looks really good and it's very... So, oh, super good, very good budget. So, yep. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the next content that's coming. It's going to be great. So, peace.